Hi guys. Um, I was asked a really good question about how spins are done, like just one-handed spins. So, do, do, do. things like these, um, they can be a little difficult with like a larger hoop that's definitely like bigger gauge than this, a little heavier. Those can get a little wearing on the wrist. So if you already have arthritis or are, you know, building strength in your wrist, that's a good exercise. Just don't overdo it. Um, I've been experiencing some wrist clicking and stuff, so just be careful. Um, so with this move, it's just a wrist and arm kind of, if you want to keep your arm in one place, it just does one turn. If you want to overextend your arm, it can go a little bit further, but it's definitely one of those, you know, you can play with it any which way. So if you're transitioning, or even just like in front of you, see how my palm is facing the front um, and my hand is on the inside of the hoop. So my elbow is straight up and down. And if it's far enough away from my body, it's not going to hit it. So definitely extend it out a little bit. This is a really awkward position. Um, I don't know how flexible you are, but you know, do this at your own risk. And in front, I like to just use my thumb as like a pusher and like that. And it can go all the way around so that your palm is again facing the front, but now your hand is straight down. Um, Another good way to do this is open palm, and that can be a little different. So if you have this down, you can try the hand spin where it essentially goes over the back of your hand. Um, you definitely want some extra momentum here. It helps to be turning in the direction you're turning it in. So let's say I'm facing, the palm is facing down. And again, I'm sorry if you have a heavy feet. But, uh, palm facing down. Let's say it flips like a pie. And you're going over the top to the right. Over the top to the right. Now, if I'm turning in this direction, the momentum is going to push against my hand, and it's going to allow me to go all the way around. Not like that, because my table's in the way. Um, but that helps. So if you're just beginning, you can just try the wrist move movement and let go whenever you're ready. But keep that hand wide open so that that pinky catches. So, like that. I always give it an extra spin to the other way, so it's kind of cheating. But um, it looks like three spins. And I go like one back, so the awkward palm facing up type thing and then um, an extra little push to the right and that just ex gives it an extra like momentum so that it can get over that hand over to that pinky back into the palm. Am I talking too much? Um, let's see what else. Oh open palm. That can be kind of difficult so don't get frustrated. I didn't get it for the first like three months of trying it so yeah, don't get frustrated. It's annoying. But you'll get that gentle glide is helpful. So the same with paddling. You don't overcompensate because you're going to end up hitting yourself in the face. Um, little movements get big outcomes. So if I have it here, let's say I like to bring it in front of me so like this. Going over. Over my left shoulder, coming down and over my left shoulder, over my right. And when my palm is facing the back towards you guys, I like to give it a little extra spin and open my palm as it's spinning. It likes to sit on like that part of my thumb. I don't know if you can tell. But yeah, it just kind of pivots there. And as it's going, I'm also moving with the hoop and trying to balance it at the same time. Um, I started by pushing at first, and you want to just be able to balance the hoop, so like that. You can get more than a couple spins in there if you're like really 
study. <laughs> so yeah, those are kind of those fun hand spins. And then um, you can add that in the transitions. I always tend to like do one pose with it, which is kind of annoying. So I've been trying to break that habit. But um, I'll do like, I don't know if you can see that. A lot of times in front of me, I'll just, <laughs> just to get the effect of it, like being a ball, I kind of like that. So yeah, if you go fast enough, you can kind of get that illusion that you're holding a ball. But yeah, I hope that helps. <laughs>